Hello everyone, I'm Tom with Stock Navigators and this is the market update for Tuesday, November 9, 2021. So uh, after a couple of weeks, it, they have a nice run up to the upside. So the market, it, they run up gas, so they need to pull back. So in the uh, uh, short term, we will see the market will sideways, uh, choppy and pull back down. Uh, I don't think this is a, another big correction like we see here in uh, uh, September, uh, October, but uh, momentum is still the upside. So in the short term, it will be choppy sideways here and then they'll be able to find a way to put it up uh, before they can complete the move here. So uh, in the uh, if you look at the NASDAQ, the NASDAQ is also doing similar after they run up too fast, too fast, too fast. So they, that they need to pull back now, which is healthy for the market rather than go straight up. And you look at the Dow, it also do the same thing to the Dow. It, uh, it hit through resistance, so now they need to pull back down also. So all of the index, they uh, run too fast, too fast, so they need to pull back down. The Russell 2000 is also be able to break out a uh, a long uh, resistance area here. So now they punch through it. Now they need to pull back a little bit to retest so that they can build some more momentum in order to go higher. If you look at the uh, uh, cool oil, the cool oil it continues to put it to the upside. So let's see if they can make another high here uh, in order to move higher. But the overall trend is still bullish for oil. The goal is also break out a, a down trend line here, which is getting more bullish. But right now they are testing this level of resistance. So if they cannot punch through here, they need to pull back down and retest the line here first before they can find a way to break out this level here. So the momentum is trying to pick up to the upside. Uh, let's see if they be able to clear this resistance area here and continue to move higher in the next couple of days. Um, if you look at the uh, Bitcoin, uh, uh, they run up uh, to the top again, but and then they pull back a little bit, but the overall trend is still bullish. And uh, Ethereum is also the same thing. They make it another uh, new high, and then they pull back down a couple of days, and then they still continue to do it. And then momentum, even though they pull back down, but the momentum is still in the uptrend. Okay, so... Right now, let's take a look on the uh, 11 sector of the SP 500. As you can see, that uh, strong sector, the XLB, is still pretty strong here with a lot of um, uh, stock. That I, I just show you go and try to put it back up, shingle and everything. That they try to clear that area here. If they can clear uh, this uh, or, or the tie here, there will be more bullet for the uh, uh, material sector there. Um, another sector that also uh, doing well, that's the XLY, but the XLY, like I told you last week, is too fast, too fast, too extended. So they get up here, they give up, and now they need to pull back down before they can go higher. This one here goes too fast, too fast. They uh, come down quickly, as long as you can see that a lot of talk like Tesla as a leader, uh, in this group, you now they fall up the cliff here when it hits to the sell zone. So they uh, pull back down. So that's why it, they wreck this uh, sector down also. But the other hand, it Amazon it also uh, in this group, but Amazon, it, it, they upset a little bit in the downturn. So Amazon is trying to find a way to put it up to the upside. But uh, a lot of strong talk um, in this sector like four to hang tight to the upside, uh, but some of the stock like uh, uh, for uh, Ferrari, they are too far, too far, so they need to pull back down here. And uh, a lot of stock in this one here, like Costco, is too strong, even though they pull back down, they feel the gap, but momentum is too strong there. Nike is also uh, hang tight to the upside, so, but they pull back like a couple of days also. Uh, BJ, that's another wholesale. It's still doing very strong there. Uh, technology stock, as you can see here, it, they have a, a good home run here. But right now it's too fast, too fast, so they probably need to pull back a little bit. And you can see that a lot of stock in this sector, it's like IGV, it's still uh, pretty strong there. Okay, technology software is still doing very well. 
and especially a lot of talk like uh, Microsoft it still hang tight to the upside uh, Apple as you can see here it's still doing well okay to uh, Google it also uh, still pretty strong there uh, semiconductor as you can see that uh, uh, a lot of talk in this sector it also hit the home run but uh, they are a little bit too extended but some of them are still uh, very strong like uh, applied material are still very strong there but the big one like NVDA and NVIDIA uh, uh, they are uh, running too fast to pull back down but the momentum is still hang tight to the upside uh, XLNX Xilinx that's another one here uh, still pretty strong there so those talkers they uh, go to the roof so but it's too far too far so yeah you have to wait for them to pull back in order to uh, continue uh, for the uptrend don't try to chase it it's dangerous another sector is the xli with the um, uh, industrial uh, this stock will be able to clear up this uh, sales on here so it only can hold on to here they were looking for some more momentum to put it back up so this time maybe the uh, uh, FedEx, okay, uh, try to gain some momentum and, and bottom out and find a way to put it up again. Um, uh, UPS, it's a little in this one here, but they hit to the sales on the pullback, so they probably try to clear up this gap here and then they find momentum to put it up again. Um, uh, some of the stock had also bow back, but it hit the resistance like. Catabella, they, they push it back up, but they hit right in the resistance, so they need to pull back a little bit before they can move higher. Uh, Honeywell, as you can see here, it's also pretty strong there. Um, let me see, ODFL, another stock is still uh, very strong in the uh, FLI there. And um, uh, as you can see here, a lot of uh, a financial sector stock it also uh, doing well but in the last uh, uh, two weeks here they are a little bit choppy because the uh, uh, 10 year treasury note they are pulled back down so the interest rate come down so the banking they uh, uh, they uh, get hurt a little bit as you can see here because this is a 10 year uh, treasury note they also drop pretty high so that's why at the uh, banking stock they are uh, in the correction a little bit there um, but it's a lot of banks are still uh, pretty strong like SBNY the bank stock that we show you uh, it's still very strong uh, JB Morgan so those things are still uh, hang tight there Bank America, okay, they also uh, pull back a little bit. They try to find the support there. Uh, SCSW, Charles Schwab, it also pull back a little bit there. But the overall, it's still bullet for the uptrend. Um, but some of them at uh, BYPL, they get hit very hard, like a PayPal, okay, so they uh, lower their future forecast that talk with uh, uh, Mr. Earning, so they are pulled back up pretty high here right now. Okay, and um, if you look at the XLV, which is another uh, sector that today the healthcare, so they mix and match between the earning, so some of them good, some of them bad, and then a competition with different kind of drug, vaccine, so all kind of things that they ride the sector up and down. But the momentum is still in the uptrend. So uh, some of the good one in this one here uh, still doing well, like we show you on the uh, weekly market uh, update. You can see here that's the NOTV. Okay, so this one here is still uh, they are a little bit far away, so you need to wait for them to cool down a little bit. Okay, but uh, some good talk they are still. Uh, very strong like ZTS okay this one is pretty strong and uh, Pizer they run up so they hit to the foot level resistance so they pull back a little bit uh, before they can move up uh, BMY that's another one that they try to bottom out and push it back up but it hit to resistance so 
they have to pull back also. So a lot of talkers, they try to run fast, but sometimes too fast, too fast, so they need to slow down a little bit in order to move higher. The energy sector is still doing well uh, because the oil price keeps continuing to go up. So uh, it's very similar to the oil. As you can see here, if they can clear this one here, they will continue to push it back up. And a lot of talk in the energy sector they hit up to the sell zone to the two sideways, but the momentum they still have one more uh, way to move up there. Uh, PDCE, that's another one, also uh, pretty strong as you can see here. CNQ, so the energy stock here, they still hold tight to the upside. CVX, Chevron, also another strong one there. Okay, so and a lot of talk in uh, real energy, let's say like QCLN, as you can see here, uh, they uh, go up, but they hit right the resistance, so they, they, they go too fast, so they need to pull back down, so that that normal thing that they have to do. Um, okay, the energy, that's another one here, uh, they run up to the upside, but a little bit extended there, and uh, PLUG, P plug, plug power, is another one that they go up. So they try to fill up the gap here first, but they hit some resistance there. And let's see, they go sideways here before they can move up again. And uh, a lot of stuff that uh, related to the crypto, you know, they have a good time here, but uh, they are right at the resistance. So Let's see it. They have to pull back and get jack around here. They run up too fast, too fast also. So, but the momentum is still there. But we need to wait for them to pull back to get a better price. But uh, some of the stuff they highlight for you, like BKCS, uh, okay, those stock that they told you if you don't have money to buy the big coin, so those stock that will help you to catch up, okay, with cheaper price. But again, and too fast, too fast. You need to wait for them to pull back. SUT, that's another one, but also uh, rumble, but too far, so uh, that's why it, the market it will be sideways choppy a little bit here for those tuckers, they pull back a little bit before they can move higher. And um, uh, a lot of uh, talk that, uh, that uh, you know, uh, that take advantage of the uh, uh, Pfizer uh, new uh, antiviral bill so this one here, they uh, try to put it back up, like travel, booking, you know, they run up after the good news, but they are still hang tight to the upside there, like uh, uh, EXPE, okay, uh, Hilton Hotel, for example. So those talkers, they run up, but, you know, they go higher, high, 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 low, they still maintain high, high, low, still bullish, okay. Um, uh, airline is also another industry that they try to find a way to put it back up, but uh, to, but momentum, you know, if they can uh, be able to get up again, they will move higher. Okay, so uh, overall the market is the bullet, okay, in the uh, long term, but in the short term, the market will be sideways choppy here before they can clear this resistance here and continue to move higher. So uh, uh, in the short term, we have to trade. If you are day trade, then you have to be uh, a caution because uh, they will rip down a little bit until they show you clear they're going to turn around. So other than that, that's what all I have for you today. And uh, if you're busy working, you can subscribe to our Wall Street Premium Wireless where we will handpick many stock daily and analyze in detail with the entry and target that you can follow. Okay, so I hope that you enjoy my analysis. Please don't forget to give me a thumb up, like button below. Thank you for watching and uh, good luck in your trading. I will see you in the next video. Take care, everyone.